Tonight, state lawmakers are pushing for a new approach to solving homelessness. Two new bills would allow state funding to support sober housing. Supporters say the policies will give more choices to people who want to be sober. Current state law requires providers to accept people regardless of drug or alcohol use. Lawmakers are now proposing the state fund sober housing as a component of the state's housing first policy. We got to meet people where they are and understand there is no one size fits all solution. Two proposed bills aim to address the pressing need for safe and stable housing. AB 2479 and AB 2893 were introduced by Democratic Assembly members Matt Haney from San Francisco and San Diego Assembly member Chris Ward. The bills would allow up to 25 percent of state housing funds in each county to go towards drug-free housing. Lawmakers say they don't want to do away with housing first. Instead, they want sober housing facilities to work under a housing first framework. But Vista Mayor John Franklin says he questions whether housing first policies are actually working. We can't continue to do the same thing expecting a different result. The mayor recently introduced a measure not to support programs that enable continued drug use and says he supports drug free housing. We've got to change those policies and there should still be places where we provide assistance and housing uh, opportunities to those who are suffering from addiction, but that shouldn't be the only type of, of uh, housing product that we offer. Both bills specify that tenants would not be kicked out of sober housing if they relapse and if they're no longer interested in staying sober, the program should move them into different housing.